Hello, my name is Suzanne Davis. Glad you could join me today as the Natural History Museum of Jamaica celebrates World Migratory Bird Day. So you may be wondering, who are these migratory birds? Well, each year, certain groups of birds in response to change in seasons leave geographic locations outside of Jamaica, fly long journeys, arrive and spend part of each year in Jamaica. They may spend as long as six to nine months here. In North America, as winter approaches, some of the birds eat a lot of food to build up body fat and energy in order to fly south to warmer places. And, surprise, surprise, we have a few birds flying from the southern Americas to spend summer, early autumn, in Jamaica, where they nest and breed. So we have winter migrants and summer migrants. Hold on. Hear that chip, chip, chip. Let's go check that out. Psh, psh, psh. That was the winter call of an American red start. It belongs to a group of birds called wood warblers. Of the 180 recorded species of migrant birds for Jamaica, the largest group is that of the wood warbler family. A familiar sound in our summertime is The grey kingbird, also known as pichiri, is a common summer migrant. It resembles the resident and native loggerhead kingbird. Consequently, both flycatchers are locally called pichiri. Look carefully at the head and tail for differences between the two species. In addition to the tyrant flycatcher and the wood warblers, did you know that our common migratory birds also include some species of herons and egrets, ducks, birds of prey, rails and coots, plovers, sandpipers, nighthawks, swallows, and vireos. When these birds fly hundreds or thousands of miles, it is through gusty winds, storms, and dangerously hot weather. Sadly, some of the birds do not survive the trip. Those that do cope with these trials by making stops on other Caribbean islands or on ships at sea before reaching Jamaica. There is yet another challenge at stopover and final destinations when the birds find that suitable habitat has been destroyed. Finally, upon arrival in Jamaica, the migrants join local communities of birds in habitats where they can replenish their body fat and energy. Remember, they will eventually have to fly back. 
it's really quite amazing that they make their long flight twice every year. Some of the migrants' activities include contributing to the control of insect populations, grazing on aquatic plants and thereby controlling their spread, and adding value to bird watching locations by increasing the number and types of species that can be seen. That is why conserving habitat for birds is so critical. I hope your interest in migratory birds has been stimulated by this presentation. Some things you can do to conserve birds include protecting and planting trees and vegetation, watching birds instead of shooting them, and tell others about our migratory birds and World Migratory Bird Day. Bye!